Hey, back in the building, your boy Bam here with this recap of Liverpool, Man City had to do it. Uh, we made it podcast.com at we made it podcast on all social media. Make sure you check us out. Make sure you follow, subscribe, uh, subscribe on YouTube where this video is being uploaded. Go subscribe on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to your podcast. Um, make sure you go follow the homie Mufasa's Taquitos on Twitch. Make sure you go follow uh, We Made It Seas on Twitch. They're uh, streaming, mostly playing Apex. I guess they're on Mixer too. Um, but yeah, they're uh, trying to get their numbers up and get to sp- uh, get to uh, some other level. They're affiliate now. They want to get to the next one. Um, but yeah, make sure you do that and make sure you follow We Made It Podcast at We Made It Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. As well, we had a big game today, Liverpool versus City. Had to watch it early morning on Sunday. Um, it was, uh, they were doing Remembrance Day, a uh, moment of silence before that. You know, you see the poppy flower on the people's jerseys. You know, I suggest anybody that isn't from England and, you know, doesn't know why they do that, go read about that. I think they celebrate, uh, I think they do Remembrance Day on in all of the, um, Commonwealth nations, and here in America, we have Veterans Day or Memorial Day or one of them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a big game, you know. Um, although Liverpool, I'm sorry, although you know, Liverpool's coming in at first and City was coming in, I think, fourth right now, um, with the game in hand. I think, if, but I think if they would have won this game, it would have ended up that they were second. But they didn't, as you already know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and recap the game. You know, we get the best recaps. I was excited, um, but I did have some concerns about Fernandinho and John Stones starting at center back. Honestly, I don't really feel like City center backs are that great, but, you know, I, I was thinking that, but I was like, well, damn, like, they did just win the four trophies last season, so who am I to say? And they're doing pretty well this season as well. Um, five, fifth minute, I put the game as turned. Right as I'm done uh, getting uh, finished writing that, Fabinho scores a goal. Um, now, you know, things were happening fast early. So I I saw the <laughs> I saw the handball potentially that happened with Trent Alexander Arnold on the other side, uh, with Kun Aguero on him. You know, Kuhn and all the other guys were saying it's a handball, the ball goes ends up going down on kind of a counterattack action for Liverpool. Fabinho hits that beautiful shot from distance. Now, they hadn't uh, shown a real replay yet. They go back and show the replay of the Trin Alex- of the handball, and I'm like, yo, that is an obvious handball. <laughs> like, I-, I couldn't believe. I'm like, yo, dog. Okay, we invented VAR as trash July 2017 or 18. July 2018. When, it- when was the World Cup? Yeah, the 18th. In the- 2018. I'm like, how is VAR still trash like that? I think that the people in VAR didn't get to see it until after Fabinho scored, so they didn't want to take away that goal and go all the way back. Because I'm like, damn, dog, if we're watching TV and we got these angles of a, a of a of an obvious handball like that, like they saw it in VAR, but I think they just saw it too late and they didn't want to go back. But um, it was a great shot by... Fabinho and a great goal, and I think who got the ball to him? I can't remember, but um, that was an obvious handball. And I think for you know, I have to give a lot of credit to City after that because they didn't become deflated. But you wouldn't be, you wouldn't feel bad if if they were like yo, especially Kunaguero or the people that actually saw the handball. I don't know if Pep actually saw it. He was going crazy. I don't know if he actually saw it, but the players that were right there around him. Uh, around Trent Trent Alexander-Arnold, and they're just like, yo, dude, like, how are we going to get screwed like that? Um, You know, I think last season I uh, I tweeted something about Liverpool being really lucky, but we'll get into that. Um, In the 12th minute, (laughs) once again, I'm putting, oh, City has had two good chances and they're playing better. Then right after that, Mohamed Salah scores another goal. Um, It was a beautiful pass by, was it Andy Robertson? Um... Got got on the end. Uh, Mohamed Salah got on the end of it with a nice header. It was just you know, like that goal counts. Like that's the quality of Liverpool, and it's it's clean. You know, not uh like the first goal, but yeah, that was a beautiful header by Mohamed Salah. 
Um, one thing I put after that, so yeah, at that point it's 2-0 in the 13th minute. Crazy. Um, right after that, I was putting that uh, City, I was like Liverpool is pressing hard. And Liverpool does this thing where they, they run down the back of players, you know? Like a lot of times, it's interesting, like their press can end up, you know, they'll, they'll run down the back of the of a person with the ball. So what I was saying is the city's got to catch Liverpool's fouls on their back. Like, if somebody's running at you full speed, just turn around and catch that foul. Now, maybe sometimes you're a little bit uh, afraid of that because maybe they can get the ball off of you and the ref don't call the obvious foul and then they just got it clean. But um, it happened a couple of times. Some players did, like, just turn their back to the uh, guy that's running down behind them and just catch that foul. Um, and I think that that can end up kind of defeating their press more than just trying to pass out of it. If, if you get the ball and somebody's running down behind you, uh, running, like, you know, they can't stop. Just turn your back, get the ball off of your foot a little bit, turn your back and just let them uh, hit you. And, and and if they do that a couple times, they'll catch a yellow card. And, and I think that's how you can use their press against them. That's what I wrote. Um, also, after that, I put that Bernardo Silva has gotten more left-footed. And I conspiracy time. I wonder if Pep is. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if Pep Guardiola is sabotaging Bernardo Silva, uh, so Spain has a chance in the next Euros uh, in the su- in the summer coming up. <laughs> um, uh, do I want to say this? You know, maybe I'll save that. Do I got a pencil? I'll try to save that for next for for the after the end of the game because it's a little bit accusatory. Fortieth uh, minute, Mohamed Salah was looking like he was hurt. Or he was embarrassed by Fernandinho's challenge on him, getting the ball off of him. He was embarrassed. Um, uh, what is this? 42nd minute, Kuhn had a nice shot that went wide. 45th minute, uh, Claudio Bra- Oh, I had put earlier too. I, I, I forgot this. Um, I put that Brody, uh, Claudio Bravo in goal. was kind of rough. But I guess Ederson was hurt. Ederson got hurt in Champions League. Um, Claudio, Bravo had, Claudio Bravo had a nice save in the 45th minute in the first half. I was like, maybe that can be a little bit of a confidence booster for him. Um, but, yeah, we go into halftime. Liverpool's um, up on City 2-0. But I put that City, although they're down 2-0, they've been playing well. Just kind of unlucky, you know. So we go into the second half. You know, I was kind of thinking that Liverpool's going to just end up blowing them out. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, they have City has good players and they have players that have a lot of pride, you know. But 51st minute, Mane got a header. Um, beautiful cross. Well, was it beautiful cross? Because it kind of, it was a long cross by uh, Jordan Henderson. I'll say that. It was it was, it was was good of him to actually get it off. Um, and, and I've uh, had praise for Jordan Henderson before. I, like, he's a very EPL guy and, like, maybe Serie A at best. But uh, he's definitely, like, a solid midfielder and, 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 and a strong guy and a big guy. Somebody you want and in really good shape. And strong, if I didn't say that. Um, but yeah, goal by Sadio Mane. Claudio Bravo basically hit the ball into the net. Honestly, I thought they were going to call it an own goal, and maybe they did at some point. Um, after that, I I put has Bernardo Silva regressed? I, I know he ended up scoring a goal later, but he just doesn't look as dynamic as he was before, and he just seems so left-footed, like kind of more basic than he used to be uh, last season anyway. Or maybe he's just tired. Like, maybe he's exhausted. You know, it was a long season last season. Um, okay, so now more controversy. 65th minute should have definitely been a penalty for Raheem Sterling on Sadio. I mean, for Raheem Sterling. Sadio Mane literally pushes him in the back, in the box. And, like, nobody can say that Raheem Sterling dove. Like, that running mode, like you're running, your your center of gravity's low, and somebody push you in the back. Like you can see that that's the reason why Raheem Sterling fell in the box, and he was in possession of the ball. Is Sadio Mane pushed it, pushed him, extended his arm, pushed him in the back. I could not believe that, and I, I put wow, Liverpool is so lucky, and I and I I think I put that last season too. Like they just catch a lot of breaks, but I have something for that after too. And actually, let me. Make sure I write that down um, before I forget, because it's going to be the title of this. Um, so, yeah, that should have been another penalty. Um, 78th minute, Bernardo Silver scored a goal. Uh, the ball ended up crossed by, uh, what was that guy's name, Angelino or something like that? The ball ended up falling to Bernardo Silva. Really good shot. Um, he could have easily missed that. 
and uh, what's his name? Kun Aguero missed kind of some of those, and Raheem Sterling. Not I don't I don't know if Raheem Sterling's ones were getting missed or they were getting blocked, but it really wasn't City's day in front of goal. Um, there were some substitutions. Gabriel Jesus came on before that goal for Kun Aguero. Oxlade Chamberlain came on for Firmino. Um, 80th minute, I put that City is definitely trying to get another goal. Then, what is this, 83rd minute, another handball not called. Unbelievable, dude. Like, you know, you don't, like, this was the initial problem with VAR for me and Caesar when we talked about it. If VAR, if you have VAR and then you don't have, like, the correct calls being called, it just looks fishy. Three penalties, dude, in this game. And to me, they were obvious. Obvious with VAR. Um, it was another handball call uh, on a Trent Alexander-Arnold. Pep was going crazy on the sideline. He was like, two times, two times. Two times handballs. Um, and I think he was like kind of talking shit with one of the people in the stands, or more than one. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't believe that. Three penalties not called on Liverpool. There was no controversial non-calls against uh, for City, like against like for Liverpool or whatever, and that's just bad. It's a bad look, you know. But it is what it is. Uh, the game ended three one. This is. Um, do I want to say that about Pep? No, I don't think it's fair actually, because I was wondering, I was like, a damn, you know, like is 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 City kind of soft? And is it because Pep is kind of soft? But I don't really think so because, I mean, they won four trophies last season. I'm just kind of thinking about Champions League and, like, when it got kind of gritty, they couldn't pull it out. But, you know what, actually, that's not true because they had, they did have that one goal late against Tottenham that was called for uh, offsides. It was really barely, and I don't think we ever saw a good replay of that either, actually. Um, so I won't say that. But what I will say about Liverpool, to their credit, um, although I think that a lot of the uh, – this game was bullshit in a lot of ways because there was a lot of calls that weren't that weren't given that for me were obvious. Um, Liverpool is successful because they believe. And however corny that sounds, and maybe somebody else said that too, you can just tell like they believe they're going to win and they manifest it and it happens. It's not like they have the best players or like, I mean, they have good players, obviously, but it's not like they have something that other teams don't, especially in Man City. Um, they just have a belief. And you and honestly, last season they won Champions League. Like you saw that too. In the group stage, it wasn't like they were dominating. They could have easily not made it out of group stage, if you guys remember. But they end up winning the winning Champions League. It's just a belief, and it's like it's not because they're pressing. Other teams press. It's it's just like a belief they have. You can you almost like feel their energy through the screen, and that's definitely an organizational thing and a thing from Jurgen Klopp. I don't think Jurgen Klopp has any tactics, any kind of genius thing that he's doing there. I think he tells the guys to play football, and I, I think he tells them like, hey. There are some tactical things that I'm sure he says, but it's not like he's some genius tactically. I think he infuses them with a positive belief, and it manifests on the pitch. Um, and that's probably why they're going to win the league this season, and they'll probably be successful in Champions League as well. Um, we could definitely end up seeing a dynasty here. It, like, And the reason why I actually was thinking that is because those guys don't get tired. Like, the way they run around the whole match, it's like, damn, dude, like, there's something extra there. And I think Jurgen Klopp is, forget about motivation. I think I think a professional player is motivated all the time. You know, you're, you're motivated by not wanting to be embarrassed, by wanting to win, and not wanting to get injured, and, you know, wanting to do your best. I think you're already motivated. You want to earn that money, you know? But it's just like a belief that he is put into the club and they believe they're going to win. They believe they're going to be successful and, and it shows and it manifests. And that's a beautiful thing. And this is, we made a podcast, um, YouTube, uh, exclusive game recaps. Um, uh, make sure you're subscribed to make sure you, uh, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and make sure you go follow, Tarek and Caesar on Twitch. We made it uh, C's and Mufasa's Taquitos on Twitch. They're gaming 
and I'm out of here.